Hey everybody, um, it's gonna be my last video of the day, more than likely. Um, this one is concerning the humanitarian crisis in Gaza. Uh, I'll put the link in the sidebar. Sidebar. Um, but it said that Gaza is on the cusp of catastrophe. Uh, which a senior UN official currently in Gaza City said. Uh, aid agencies said the already fragile humanitarian situation in the Gaza Strip has deteriorated dramatically since Israel began its military offensive. Israel has imposed a crippling blockade on Gaza for the past 18 months, allowing little more than humanitarian basics into the coastal territory. Health, energy, and water infrastructure were already close to breaking point before the fighting broke out. Now paramedics are struggling to secure safe access to the wounded. Hospitals are short of medical supplies and intensive care uh, patients' lines are dependent on aging backup generators. Much of the population is without electricity, about half are without running water, and food deliveries to, deliveries to 70, 750,000 people have been seriously disrupted. On a Wednesday, Israel began daily three-hour lulls in the fighting to allow Palestinians to leave their home and stock up on supplies. It, it also says it is allowing safe passage to trans, uh, for transportation of goods from the border to Gaza City and for fuel to the power plant. But the UN is saying that even three hour lulls in fighting is not going to make a dent in the humanitarian crisis that is already happening in Gaza. Um, okay, half of Gaza's population are dependent on food handouts from the UN Relief Agency. And now you know why I was so skeptical of the humanitarian aid that uh, the Israeli army was going to provide to the people of Gaza, even though they're bombing the fuck out of them. Not only is aren't there, there, there are hospitals, as I said, are fucking to, are working on skeleton crews, are overstretched with backup generators, are completely useless more more than likely they're gonna fail at a given point um, and he even said that there were it was a fragile um, it, it, the, the fragile the humanitarian um, services like food electricity and health care were already fragile to begin with before the fighting start started and now they're just becoming stressed, stressed, stressed to a point which is so far beyond what they could probably ever have thought would happen. Now, if Israel really wanted to help, they would either cease the fighting or allow for 10-hour gaps in fighting or something along those lines to allow more and more supplies to get into Gaza City or into Gaza itself to allow the population to sort of rebound. But I think Israel should just pull out and say, we're done. We're not going to torture these people anymore. And I can't believe people are still even pro-Israel at this point. They're bombing the fuck. I bet these are the same people who are, were pro us going into Iraq and look at where that got us. Israel is heading for that same mistake. And instead of helping the people, they're killing them. Um... And that's just not right. <sighs> Fucking half of the people are dependent on food handouts from the UN. <sighs> um, distribution has been hampered by um, security assaults because of uh, and and was suspended for the day on uh, the 9th of January because a truck driver was killed. And the UN blamed Israeli fire, which the Israeli military denied. <sighs> Fucking this crisis has gone beyond crisis. It's it's become worse than I even thought was possible. I'm done with Israel. I'm done. They're basically swiping people off the face of the earth. And I thought we stood against that. I think that's. I thought that's why we were fighting the Germans. 
kooky idea, but allowing them to basically wipe the Palestinians off the fucking map through killing actual Palestinians and Gaza residents, and and then not giving humanitarian aid to the people who are not fighting them. They are basically slowly killing the population of the Gaza Strip. Now I beseech Israeli, anybody who's Israeli and watches this video through whatever fluke that might be, I urge you to urge your government to stop the attacks. Because it is just becoming worse and worse, and it's, it's not getting any better. And you're just creating more and more people you have to fight and gonna have to kill. And it's not a safe thing to do. Help the people. Don't kill them. Don't wipe the people off the face of the map. Help them. Now I understand that there's been this tension has been going on for 60 plus years, but the younger generation has to stop the buck and stop the violence. I'll put a link in the sidebar. You can make your own judgments. Comment on it. Again, if you just make an erroneous statement to my video, I'm going to spam it, report it, and remove it in all likelihood. But, I'm Resident Zen. I hope for peace, love, and harmony in the Middle East and in the world. My love goes out to the Palestinians and the people who reside in the Gaza Strip who are in Palestinian, whoever that might be, um, and my my thoughts go out to the people who have already died, and the people who are fighting, and my implor implication, and, uh, and, and my wishes go with the Israeli military to stop this chaos. Peace.